This video has been provided by the Johns Hopkins Home Care Group and the Johns Hopkins Division of Infectious Diseases. Thank you in advance for watching this video. This video will be presented in 12 sections. Introduction, how to get started, hand hygiene, prepare a clean workspace, gather supplies, arrange supplies, prepare supplies, disconnect and unload the pump, load the pump, scrub the hub, pulse flush, ready to connect. Your medical provider has prescribed an IV medication for you that you can safely take in your home. Your medication is infused using an electronic pump and remains connected to you for 24 hours a day. This video will provide you with instructions on how to infuse or administer your medication when needed. The pump used in this video may be different from your pump. If it is different, please ask your nurse or pharmacist for specific instructions on the type of pump you are using. Additionally, any special instructions based on your drug will be provided by your nurse or pharmacist. Please watch this video as many times as you need. If you have a caregiver, family member, or a friend helping you, please have them watch it as well. How to get started. Your nurse will tell you how to store your infusion medication. This also can be found on your medication label and on your pharmacy prescription. Your nurse will tell you when to take your medication and how often. If your medication is refrigerated, we recommend that you remove your medication from the refrigerator at least two hours before it's time to infuse so that it can get to room temperature. If you forget to remove your medication ahead of time, it's okay. The cold medicine will not hurt you, but the cold fluid may feel a bit uncomfortable while it's infusing, and it may take a little bit longer to finish infusing. Your pharmacist or nurse will also tell you how long each medication bag should run before it's time to change it again. You should change the bag at the same time of each day on the days that you are due to change the bag. Now, the first thing to do is to make sure that you have a clean work surface and cleaned hands. So let's talk about how we properly clean our hands. If your hands are visibly dirty, wash your hands using soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds. Dry with a clean paper towel. If your hands are not visibly dirty, it is okay to use alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Place a dime-sized amount of sanitizer in the palm of your hand. Rub your hands together vigorously for at least 20 seconds until your hands are dry. Make sure you rub between your fingers and the backs of your hands. Never blow on your hands or wave them or wipe them to speed up the drying. You will wash or sanitize your hands several times throughout this process. Whether you wash or use hand sanitizer, remember that it is important to wash or rub for 20 whole seconds each time. For each infusion, it is important to find a clean, dry, hard work surface to set up medication and supplies. You can place the provided sash placemat on the top of the work surface. Wipe the surface and the sash mat down with a household cleaning agent like Clorox wipes or Lysol and a paper towel or an alcohol pad and then allow it to dry. Now, wash or sanitize your hands again for a full 20 seconds, the same way you did the first time. The next step would be to gather your supplies. Your home infusion agency should provide these supplies. If you are missing any supplies, please call your home infusion agency. You will need your electronic pump, four to five alcohol pads, two pre-filled normal saline syringes, one pre-filled heparin syringe if prescribed by your provider, a new medication bag with IV tubing, and a carrier pouch. Arrange your supplies on your clean sash board according to the steps on the board. Place the alcohol pads in their place on the board. Place a saline syringe over each S. Place your medication bag over the A. If flushing with heparin is prescribed, then place a heparin syringe over the H. S is for saline. A is for administer or antibiotic. The second S is for saline and the H is for heparin, if needed. 
you will also need the most recent medication orders from your home infusion provider. Now check the label on the medication bag and compare it to your prescription. It is always important to check the medication label on the bag to make sure that your name is correct, the medication and the dose of medicine is correct, and that it matches what is on the prescription. Look at the expiration date or the do not use after date on the medication label. If any of this information is incorrect, stop and call your infusion pharmacy immediately. Now, wash your hands for 20 full seconds, remember? If sanitizing, you want to always get a good amount in your palm, then rub until dry. Good job. We are now ready to prepare our supplies. Start with the first saline syringe. It looks like this. Remove the protective cap on the syringe and place the cap flat side down on the table. You will need to replace the cap on the syringe later. So you want to make sure that the inside of the cap doesn't touch anything or get dirty. Hold the syringe with the end up and the plunger at the bottom. Pull back on the syringe plunger slightly to break the seal on the syringe. You will be able to see the tiny air bubble in the syringe. Slowly push the plunger up to let that tiny air bubble out. Once the air is removed, pick up the cap from the table and replace the cap on the end of the syringe. Place the syringe on the sash mat on the first S. Repeat this step for the other syringes on your board. Once you have done this, you are ready to move to the next step. You may notice that your medication may come with the tubing already attached to the medication bag. If this is the case, you may simply need to remove the medication and attached tubing from the plastic bag and place it back over the A on the sash mat, which is for administer or antibiotic. Now, your sash mat is all set. Depending on the pump you have at home, you may need to ask your nurse or pharmacist how to use your pump. We will be using the bodyguard pump in this demonstration. If you already have a bodyguard pump and a medication that is ready for a bag change, remove your pump and the empty medication bag from your carrying pouch. Place the pump on your clean work surface. Push the stop button if the pump is still infusing and hold the power button down until the pump powers off. Okay, now we will disconnect the medication tubing from your IV line, but we want to make sure that you do not remove the end cap on your IV line. You may be wondering, what's an end cap? The end cap protects your IV line from bacteria. It is very important to keep the end cap clean to prevent infection. The one shown here is blue, but your end cap could be another color depending on your home infusion provider. You can ask your nurse what color your end cap is. No matter the color, remember, it is very important to keep clean. To disconnect the medication tubing from your IV line, grasp the end cap with one hand and with the other, unscrew the medication tubing until it's disconnected. Remove the medication tubing and the bag from the pump by lifting the latch to open the pump door. Lift the tubing from the pump and discard in normal trash. Now, wash or sanitize your hands. Remember to wash or rub for a full 20 seconds. Now it's time to load the pump. Place the new medication bag and attach tubing next to the pump. On the tubing, locate the section of tubing with the black plastic piece or the black Lego piece. This is the section of the tubing that is loaded into the pump. Line the tubing up with the pump and slide the black piece with the smooth side facing up into the channel. Close the door to the pump and secure the latch. Open the slide clamp on the medication tubing. Power the pump on by clicking the power button. You will hear the pump make a beeping sound and perform a self-check. The pump will then ask you to select repeat or resume. You should select repeat to repeat the program with the new bag of medication. 
The pump screen will show you the settings. Check the settings on your prescription form against the settings on the pump screen. Follow the directions for scrolling through the screen on the pump. Now that you have loaded your pump, it's almost time to connect and administer your medication. But before we do, we must scrub the hub and flush the IV line with saline. But can you guess what comes first? You got it. Wash or sanitize your hands. Remember to wash or rub for a full 20 seconds. We will then clean the end cap or scrub the hub on your IV line. Remember, we said that it was important for you to keep the end cap clean to prevent infection, right? To clean the end cap of your IV line, we will scrub the hub by using the alcohol pad located right before the S on your sash mat. Remove the outer wrapping to expose the alcohol square. Wrap the alcohol square over and around the sides of the hub. Scrub the hub with the alcohol square for at least 15 seconds. Throw the used alcohol square in the trash. Once you have cleaned the hub, you do not want to get it dirty by allowing it to sit on a surface or hang loose. But if you do, it's okay. You will just need to wash your hands again and re-clean again with a new alcohol square. Ready to flush? We will now flush the IV line with saline. Now, while keeping the end cap or hub clean in one hand, grasp the saline syringe with your other hand. Remove the cover that is on the saline syringe and attach the syringe to the hub of the IV line by screwing the syringe to the hub in a push and twist motion, almost like putting a key into an ignition. Good. Now that you have connected the syringe, open the clamp on your IV line and slowly push about one to two milliliters of the medication in at a time. Stop and push one to two milliliters more. Stop and push a little bit more. Keep doing this until all of the syringe is empty. Flushing this way each time helps to keep your IV line from getting clogged. If you are unable to flush your IV line or find that it takes a lot of effort to push in the fluid from the syringe, double check to make sure that the clamp on your IV line is open. If your clamp is opened and you still have difficulty, stop and call your infusion provider. Once you have emptied the syringe, you should disconnect the syringe from your IV line and throw it away. Be careful to disconnect the empty syringe only. Remember, you do not want to remove the hub from your IV line. Now you're ready to connect your medication tubing to your IV line. But before you do, check to make sure that you have answered the three questions found on the top of your sash board. Did you check the prescription? Did you check the medication expiration date or the do not use after date? Did you wash your hands? Go ahead, wash or sanitize your hands for a full 20 seconds. Now you must scrub the hub again for at least 15 seconds. Do you remember what to do? Use the next alcohol pad on your sash board, the one before the A. Unwrap the pad and wrap the alcohol square around and over the hub while applying friction, just the same way we did before. Remember, we call this scrubbing the hub. When done, throw out the used alcohol square. Now, hold the clean hub in one hand and keep it clean. With your other hand, locate the end of the medication tubing and remove the protective cap on the end of the tubing. Connect the exposed end of the medication tubing to your IV line by using the same push and twist motion you used before to screw the saline syringe onto the hub. Once you have secured the connection, check all the clamps one last time to ensure that they're all open. Push the start or okay button to start your infusion. You will see the drip icon on the pump screen and the green light blinking on the face of the pump. If your pump alarms instead, then read what the screen is saying. You may need to recheck to be sure that all clamps are open. Check the tubing for kinks as well. If you get an alarm and you are unsure what to do, please call your infusion pharmacy immediately. Now, place the pump back in your pouch. Congratulations, you did it. Enjoy your day.